I'm waiting for one and D. That's it. Are you are you not coming with your precious your sister and your Lead me on, let me stand. I am tired. I am weak. I am poor. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand. Precious Lord, lead me home. When my work is all done, and my race here is run, let me see by the light thou hast shown. Okay, so we're trying to arrange the family and um, it's a follow one after another. And um, these are uh, Professor Peter's um, children and children, children. Um, the first one is Kavisore uh, and then Oh, his wife, lovely. Because I was wondering, I thought one ninety was the second. Then it's Kabesorere's wife, then one ninety, then Pashi, um, then Perivi, then Isabel, and Isabel too. Then Perivi, one one. Well, what about your small one? Oh, the baby is sleeping. Okay. Okay. The people behind them are the grandchildren. Thank you. Why can't you come to this side, grandkids? Come to this side. You are the next generation and stand accordingly. People want to see your faces. They don't know you. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. So they are going to deliver their message of controllers. Yeah. Very good. Uh, good afternoon, distinguished guests and dignitaries, families and friends, uncles and aunts, brothers and sisters. Thank you for being here today with us to honor and pay tribute to my dear mother. I'd just like to read um, something that she shared with me and with us as a family um, some years ago. And so this is creed. I believe that I am part of something bigger than myself, a part of life, a part of creation. 
a flower in a garden full of different plants, each of us individually glorious. And together, we make up paradise, heaven on earth. I believe that we are fire and water, yin and yang, creator and destroyer, and that the life force of which we are a part has those same characteristics of opposites, like lightning, like electricity, cracking across the universe, creating and giving life, destroying, burning, burning and healing. I believe that the life force is something we can call upon and open ourselves up to, to fill our spirits, renew our hearts, find secure and continue to grow. I believe that we are molecules and that before and after death we are melded with other molecules in different forms, never lost. I believe that we acknowledge and recognize the life force and give it different names at different historical ages in different lands. Across time and culture, we make the connection. We search for the pattern and the meaning. And we call this God. I believe that some of us see those patterns more clearly or express them more beautifully. Like Buddha, Christ, Muhammad, the Hindu greats, Lao Tzu, Baha'u'llah, and others. Past, present, and future, our oldest ancestors and the children yet unborn. I believe that we follow common methods to connect with the life force, meditation, prayer, trance, praise, thanksgiving, ecstatic, supercharged emotion. But sadly, we forget that this all connects us, that this connects us all. We focus on the different names, practices, stories that we develop and we poison the garden. This is our struggle to build, not destroy. I've struggled to come up with words these past few days and for me it's still very early to process and to really um, pay tribute properly to my mother. It's so soon. Um, but the initial thoughts and feelings and memories I'd like to share is um, uh, I think there's just been such an overwhelming appreciation of uh, the outpouring of support and love and kindness from family, from friends, from colleagues, from comrades. Uh, we thank you deeply. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, the words that you've used to describe mum, uh, her kindness, her gentleness, her openness is something that we as her children growing up with her have been so privileged to have um, been surrounded by and to feel these principles and these values uh, passed on to us and passed through us. So in the words that um, we've already said earlier, I think we owe it to ourselves to try to carry on her legacy and the way that she has talked about faith and love and um, the will to build uh, rather than destroy in her creed is something that we want to pass on to our children and we want to um, carry these values um, in the work that we do. Um, some of my earliest um, memories of mum, I was born in England, in Oxford. Um, I spent my first four years there, but I, the strongest memories I have of her come to me um, from when we were in America, when we were in New Haven, Connecticut, and she would walk with me and she would hold my hand and take me to um, the bus stop and we'd take the bus and we'd go to Calvin Hill daycare which Uncle Shama reminded us um, of earlier uh, he was so kind to share these old pictures of our time Calvin Hill, my time at Calvin Hill uh, in New Haven and we would have these long walks and mum was amazing at uh, filling our time constantly with play and wonder and setting us at ease and I just remember us counting uh, for as long as we could and as high as we possibly could it would come to sort of infinite numbers as a way to pass time and this is how she would comfort me um, on the way to school and we would tell stories and we would just make them up 
as we went along. And this is probably where she instilled my passion for storytelling and creativity. Um, something I cherish her for uh, dearly is her, her support and belief in me as a filmmaker, as a young kid being crazy enough to think that I could pursue that sort of uh, uh, goal and dream. Um, and, and I did, and I did with her support and, and her belief, and I, I, I cherish her for that. Um, so we remember her fearlessness, her bravery, her kindness, her gentleness, her openness, her ability and desire to put people at ease, um, her eagerness to help others, her selflessness, um, to see the best in people. Um, you know, my early career as a filmmaker started with her. She was my first cinematographer when I was eight or nine years old. She was the person holding my holding the video camera, filming the movies, helping me rig lights while we, me and friends, sort of ran around trying to make a film. Um, working with um, my cousins in the UK, um, and uh, you know, we would come together and make these little home videos. And and she was always eager to support and, like I said, to literally take part in carrying the camera and assisting us. Um, I thank her also for her journey in faith, um, which has um, deeply inspired me and um, uh, for her work in nation building in Namibia and the way that others have just beautifully eulogized her and her life and uh, her dedication to this country. Um, but it's also her journey in faith that has deeply inspired me in, in my own journey. I remember when I was in my early 20s as a student in Los Angeles and was up late at night and uh, felt myself filled by the Holy Spirit and was very confused and overwhelmed and um, inspired and it was her who calmed me and knew exactly what to say to set me at ease and to, to ground some of that. Um, and um, to support me in my own journey in faith. Um, I will miss sitting with her in church. It was a ritual that we kept to um, quite well in years of late. I will miss our talks afterwards uh, over coffee where we would debate Christianity and why there are so many denominations and all sorts of things. Um, Mother, you led me to God. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mother, you cared for, um, for my son, Gabriel, Shiwe, um, and I played such a big part in the caring for both of my sons, Gabriel, Shiwe, and Solomon Nene, but you looked after Gabriel, Shiwe, for a year when I was in England and couldn't come home as fast as I wanted to because of COVID and other things and uh, I thank you deeply for that. Um, thank you for encouraging me to um, step into academia and supporting me on my PhD journey which is endless. Um, but I, I commit to finishing it in honor, in your honor and thank you for supporting me down those paths. Um, the last thing she said to me by a text message before she was about to fly from Frankfurt to Winter was on board, ready to come home, feeling excited. So while we grieve and we mourn the loss of you, our dear saintly mother, we are also excited at this, that you are on board and you have started a new journey. Um, to be reunited with God and we're excited for that and we love you. Your name, Tuawana, means we are together from England to Namibia and from this world to the next. We are together. Thank you. Afternoon and thank you all for being here, uh, Vice President, and Papa. Uh, I'm just sort of speaking directly to Mom here and there. But Mama, I'm at a loss of words. 
Words will never be enough to express my love and appreciation for you. When I spoke to you before you boarded the plane, last week, Monday, the furthest thought from my mind was that it would be the last time I speak to you. The last time I would see you smile. The last time I would hear your voice. The last time I would hear you say you love, you love me. Sorry. And the last time you would ever hear me tell you that I love you. It was never for us to know that her last journey home would actually be her journey home. Only God knows this. Only God knows what is unseen and what is not known to us. In the chapter of Luqman, verse 34 from the Noble Quran, Allah says, Indeed Allah has knowledge of the hour and sends down the rain and knows what is in the wounds. And no soul perceives what, is, what it will earn today, tomorrow and no soul perceives in what land it will die. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. In the time since you departed, what is heaviest on my heart is the thinking. I should have held you longer during our last hug. I should have held your hand longer while we spoke. I should have expressed more to you about how beautiful you are to me. I should have expressed more to you how much I loved you. The last page has been turned and your book has been closed. We sit here today remembering everything about your book, about your life. The parts that made us laugh, the parts that made us cry. We reflect on the life lessons we acquired through you. We remember the sense of urgency between the words, between the spaces, and the calm and soft turnings that we endured with you as pages we turned. We were the main char you were the main character, but you held our hand along the journey. You opened up a whole new world for us all. You, Mama, are a light, a source of inspiration to me and many, a source of information, a source of motivation. You lived your truth, allowed your light to shine, and through that taught us to do the same. You shared your light with so many people, and this has been proven in the last few days in the outpouring of love and support, and with the many faces gathering to remember you here today. And we honor you, Mama. Even though you are not here physically, you still found a way to bring people together, as you always do. Death is the only thing in life that is certain. Verily from the love we come, and to him we return. I am in pain. I am broken. And I will miss every little thing about you. I know this is a journey. And I have to keep walking. But I will take you with me. Because you are still a part of my book. Death is a strange thing, but it allows us to see the good that we had to appreciate what we were given. There is good in the bad and there is light in the dark. Your life is a reminder to be grateful, to be soft and kind, to give people time, and lastly to appreciate something we overlook every single day. And that's to appreciate waking up this is a daily blessing that we get every single day that we are still here. The best thing you ever taught me, and it sounds like you taught a lot of us, was to search and find God. And in this time it is God who strengthens me. Allah says, I am just as my slave thinks I am, and I am with him if he remembers me. If he remembers me in himself, I too remember him in myself. And if he remembers me in a group of people, I remember him in a group of people that is better than they. And if he comes one span near to me, I come one cubit nearer to him. 
and it becomes one cubit nearer to me, I go a distance of two outstretched arms nearer to him, and it becomes to me walking. I go to him running. Your final words to me, mommy, was I won't say goodbye. So mama, I won't say goodbye as you're ever with me. On behalf of the grandkids. Um, greetings to you all. Oma, <coughs> with the gift of years comes the treasure of knowing that there are many who love you dearly. Your wonderful combination of warmth, kindness, laughter, and love. You overlooked our faults, encouraged our dreams, and highly praised every success. God used the words, my apologies. God used the hands of one so dear, the one we call our dearest grandmother. The most wonderful gift that you could ever give is a special part of you now lost in each of us. For all of us, you gave your best. Now time has come for you to rest in peace. We hold you close within our hearts and there you remain to walk and guide us through our lives until we meet again. We love you so much, Omar. 